Okay, it's planting day. So we have our, we're out at our 13 acre field right now and we've got the planter and all the seed in the back of the truck. We've got our paper to keep track of our row numbers and our varieties that are going in. I think we have about 10 different varieties that are going into this field. So we gotta be careful with cleaning out the hoppers and making sure seed doesn't cross contaminate, you know. So we're ready to put that in the hoppers and keep track of what varieties are going where in the field with our stakes. Um, I'll show you guys the planter. Here is the planter. These are hoppers. Um, we're going to put the seed in those two and then those two hoppers. Um, that gives us enough row spacing to walk rows and then keep variety straight. So the seed goes in here and then comes out down there it drops in and then that like um buries it basically so since we have such different varieties that some of them are a little low we're gonna have to ride on this board to make sure the seed is staying in stock and going down in that hole to get planted properly so that is the tractor planter board hoppers we take the lids off of the hoppers um that we're using just to keep it straight Another important thing, since we ride on the back of the planter, we have knee pads, so that is the only um, safety thing we do, I guess, since we I like to cover what we do um, for cautionary things, like in the seed treatment video, we use gloves and stuff, and in planting, we use knee pads, so. And we're just waiting on our tractor guy, uh, it's about almost 10, so. We're gonna get the drone fired up about halfway through the field and then we'll take some drone footage of what planting looks like. And then after that, we'll get her whipped. So we're putting a couple different varieties in, snack rows. We leave a lot of space just in case like we have more seed that we wanna plant of one variety. And then in between the varieties, we have buffer rows, which are gonna plant corn this year because that keeps the wind from blowing the peas during harvest when we cut them. So the corn is tall enough to hopefully keep some of those, like it's a kind of a windbreak. And then if the wind does get through it, we have um, some protection there. So we don't have to go through and pick out all of the little plants that blew over. Um, because since we're in the middle of fields, there's a lot of wind that is possible. And we would rather be prepared than sorry. So that is why we use buffer rows. So how the hopper works, you put the seed in there and then the seed goes down in through that hole. And through that little spout right there and then the spout connects down there and that part turns that and the seed comes out down there so yes so before we start planting we have to check seeding depth that's where you adjust it so if you want to go deeper you pull it this way and if you want to go more well less deep you put it that way so this is how we test for seeding depth. We make sure it's in the moisture and it's not too shallow. After this, we either adjust the implement or we keep planting and it's set for the day. So that's a little peek into that. So since that tractor is old, we do not have GPS and I am a middle marker. So we just check seeding depth. That's something we have to take into account when we're planting is um, having seed to check the depth of the planting rate. Um, sorry, I got a booger. Uh, so right now they're driving out. Peas can go up to three inches deep and I think we're about there. So we have to hit the moisture to make sure that the peas get enough and they're not rotting in the soil just sitting there. Cause I don't think they're getting watered in for a while. Um, and I think that covers it. So I'll be watching hoppers and putting seed in and cleaning seed out and that's about it. So this is a broom with a dustpan taped on the end of it to make sweeping seed into the feeder easier and keep seeding rates accurate. The little arm on the end marks in the soil where the tractor is going to drive over for the next row to keep our row straight. Also, this planter is for larger quantities of seed. We have another small planter that's a vacuum planter that's more precise that we use for planting smaller quantities. 
So here's a little uh, video I snatched of the implement going down. Once the wheels start turning, the seed comes out of those hoppers and that's when the peas are planted. So we mark the rows with stakes and I'll show that in the next clip. So for the beginning of a row, you mark the left side of the tire track because that is where the hopper was laying seed in. So that is where that row will start. Just a little recap from our day. It is 7.30, we finished it around seven. Um, we got our 13 acre field done. We got our three acre field started. So that is something we will finish with our vacuum planter. And then I'll attach some videos of that. But um, so far so good. We didn't have any major mishaps today and I have missed planting so much. It's been super fun, even though I'm like dead, but I've missed working all day. So. Super excited for this summer and for those peas to come out of the ground. So we got them planted pretty deep because the moisture is deeper and they're not going to get watered in right away. And hopefully it'll work. It will work, but um, fixed the seeding depth on the planter, got it all situated, didn't break anything that I can remember. So it was a good day. And we will probably not plant on Wednesday like we were planning because the weather the weather really tells us when we're gonna work during the spring because if it's raining there's you're not planting if it's super windy you're not planting um, we might try to plant tomorrow even though it's going to be windy but I'd rather take wind than um, ice mix that we're supposed to get on Wednesday so um, hopefully we'll be finished planting by the end of this week and I will get this video up and you guys will get to see the whole finished product and hopefully I have enough footage so so excited. All right, I made the executive decision to make uh, the second planting that we're supposed to be doing tomorrow. Two different videos because they cover some different things. So just drop a comment about what you learned. Um, subscribe if you want to and like it so we can spread more information around. So thanks guys.